Hello again. The second mutation method we wanted to learn in this series is called the swap mutation. As the name suggests, it's extremely easy. What we do is we have our input chromosome, we just randomly pick two elements and then we swap their positions. It's as simple as that. This method, as you notice, uh, it preserves most of the adjacency information so not major changes happen in the chromosome. If we look at an example, uh, let's let's say we have the, our input looks like this, just a simple integer array. Then we randomly choose two points, let's say two and five. And what we do is we just swap them. So five comes here and two goes there. The Java implementation is extremely easy. Again, here we have a method called swap mutation. It receives uh, an array of ints and returns an array of ints. So we just make a clone of the or copy the copy of the array. There's no need for that. We can do the mutation Im uh, immediately on the input array, but you know, just a way of preserving the input. Um, calculate the length of the input, and then we randomly pick two numbers: R1, R2. Just to repeat, I have a method called random number, which generates a random integer between zero and L minus one. So L is not inclusive. R1, R2, and we don't want R1 and R2 to be equal, so we just keep looping. We change R2 until it's not equal to r1 just in case because we don't want to swap an element with itself do we after that we just do the swap uh, 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 process the one that we always do in, in programming we just hold the first variable in a temporary uh, uh, a temporary variable copy the second variable to the first variable into the first variable and then we copy the temporary into the second and we return the array nice and simple as we mentioned not much changes so most of the adj adjacency is kept but it can work as uh, uh, obviously as uh, the actual um, input chromosome changes even though it's very very uh, it's a very very small change thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video